So continuing on from the previous video, next thing we're going to do is add a drop cap. And going back to the code, just so that you guys can see the effect of the drop cap a little bit better, I'm going to make these two paragraphs into one. And what we need to do is create a span, <coughs> excuse me, a span for the first letter. Sorry, a span class for the first letter. So I'm going to call this, whoops, large letter and close that. And you also have to remember to close your span right after the first letter. Okay, so that's in there. We'll just click on this. Whoops. There we go. <clears throat> so that's one paragraph and nothing's changed yet because we haven't defined anything yet. So let's go back to our style sheet and define our class. So we call it large letter and we're going to enlarge the font size and again I'm using a percentage. So I'm going to set the font size to 400 percent. You can choose whatever percentage you want. This is just how big I want my letter. Semicolon, <coughs> excuse me, float left, line height, set that to 50 percent. And let's just see what it looks like right now. Okay, so there's our big W. Uh, now we need to make sure that the text is going underneath here. So let's just add a little bit more text so we can see if this is looking right or not. So I'll just copy and paste that again. There we go. So you can see there's a little bit more space underneath here than we want to. So let's take a look at our CSS. Oh, there we forgot to finish the line. So don't forget your semicolons, that will help. Let's go back here. All right, so we're also going to add a right and bottom margin to help with that as well. So let's type margin right is five pixels. And margin bottom is minus five pixels. Now that just means that it's going to move up higher. Okay, so let's just take a look here. Perfect. So there's our drop cap. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is add some bold text. So I want to bold this question here. So going back to our code, let's just pull this up a little more. I'm just going to add some bold tags around the text that I want to make bold. And in, in order to do that, all that we need to do is open up some angle brackets and type in the letter B for bold. And don't forget to close the bold tags. All right. And click back on the page. And now our text is bolded. So the next thing you may or may not want to do, depending on what type of a book you're creating, uh, just to give you an example, we're going to do some bullets. So let's add some line breaks to create our bulleted list. So one there, one there, one there. Highlight the whole thing. We're going to hit the bullet icon and there you have it. All right, and the last thing we're going to do is um, add a superscript number for some footnotes. So I'm just going to stick it right there. I'm gonna type one and I'm going to go back into the code here and look for it. And I'm going to wrap a sub 
tag right around the uh, right around the number there. So we're going to open up an ankle bracket and type in SUP and close it afterwards. And let's click on the page. Uh, where'd it go? There it is. So you'll notice that it's uh, actually in a superscript format. Now for the footnotes. We're going to add that after the border. So just before the body tag here, we're going to add a new div and we're going to call it footnote. Pretty simple, right? And we're going to close the div before we do anything else, just so that we don't forget. Okay, and we're going to type in some content. And let's just say that that certain sentence is derived from Michael Bernardo. And we're going to put the superscript one just in front here. Okay. So clicking on the page here. So you'll see that it's just underneath the border here and the superscript has been defined. Now I don't want this text that big or that color and I actually want it to float right. So let's go back to our CSS style sheet and define that. So we're going to type div.footnote float right and I want the font size to be 80% of whatever it is currently and I also want the color kind of a dark gray so number sign let's go with 666 semicolon alright and back to our page and there's the footnote at the bottom there alright so just make sure you save that and let's open this up in Adobe Editions alright so we need to add our new file to the library so click on the library button here and add item to library and we're just going to search for a file seoworkshop.epub there you are add and open it up alright now let's go to our first page here and there we have our newly styled page and what you want to remember is depending on the how big the device is this border will be cut off and also don't go too crazy on the styling as it is an ebook and not a web page thank you for listening and that's it for our tutorial today